What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront skins type related video and in this video as you can see I'm going to be showing you the Luke Skywalker flight suit skin costume thing which unfortunately isn't an actual skin but it is a mod. Data Miner, Uninspired Zebra, the guy who has literally found everything so far in the code, like he's just some sort of code genius and he's found like everything you need to know. He's went ahead and hacked Battlefront so that he could use pilot Luke Skywalker in Battlefront. DICE hasn't actually announced this outfit though, and as far as we know it won't be coming to the game. If it was coming to the game I imagine it would already be here considering we already have the Hoth maps. But then we do have a Hoth Luke Skywalker skin anywhere where he's wearing all white. But this pilot Luke Skywalker does look absolutely amazing. An uninspired zebra forced the game to load Luke with the rebel pilot body and this outfit isn't anywhere in the files like I said already. I would love to see this outfit in the game but I really doubt it's going to arrive but still it looks absolutely amazing. Then he has went ahead and hacked the game again so that you can get General Lando Calrissian rather than just the standard Bespin Lando Calrissian. He has tweaked Lando so that the smuggler resembles his general uniform from Return of the Jedi. EA Dice again have not announced this skin but he went ahead and hacked the game so that Lando could be loaded with his head mixed with the rebel officer outfit. This is a mod again, please don't get really excited, it is just a mod, it's not probably not going to be coming to the battlefront anyway. But again, it's still absolutely amazing to see. Lando's actual general uniform did differ slightly from the officer uniform, but most notably he wore a cape in Return of the Jedi and his undershirt is beige rather than blue. But still it does look absolutely amazing and I would love to see this skin arrive in the game. He then went ahead and sort of done something with Luke Skywalker again and gave us an idea of how Luke Skywalker's Stormtrooper outfit will look in Star Wars Battlefront. Uninspired Zebra again forced the skin to load on Sulla's Soros Sub Central Plex map in Skirmish. Like I said before he did leak gameplay of the Bacta Bomb and features like Skirmish and this time we do know that lead designer Dennis Branville has already revealed that Han and Luke would be getting their Stormtrooper outfits for the Death Star. DICE also intended for Leia to get her white dress and buns, but unfortunately Branval said that the skins weren't ready in time during the reveal stream for the expansion. It doesn't really make sense why DICE withheld Luke if he is indeed in a playable state, because the Death Star was the last update and he's been in the game files since at least September 23rd. But do be aware that he probably won't be playable on Solist in his Stormtrooper outfit, Uninspired Zebra just showed it off in the video on this map because there isn't a Death Star map in Skirmish. This again is just a mod for Uninspired Zebra to mess around with and for us to see what it could potentially look like when it does arrive. So be aware when this skin does actually arrive in Star Wars Battlefront, possibly in the next update, it isn't going to be how he looks. So I'm not exactly sure how it is going to look when it does arrive but I imagine still it's going to look completely awesome. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about these modded skins for heroes. Personally I would love to see more actual hero skins come into Star Wars Battlefront but I don't think it's going to really happen. Smash a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance and be kept up to date with all things Star Wars. Other than that may the force be with you.